Hey church family, welcome to another Pause to Pray video after our short absence for the past two weeks. As you all know, uh, Ali and I welcomed little Stephanie Ray Schultz into our family and we have just been overjoyed. We are so thankful. God has blessed our family. If you've been walking with us, uh, if you've been part of our church, you know that Ali and I, before we had Casey, we were praying and uh, struggling for a few years asking God for children and he answered and we had Casey and he answered again. We had Andy and he's answered a third time now and we have Stephanie and we are just so thankful. Uh, so I mean, maybe to, but today's pause to pray should be about Thanksgiving and the way that God is faithful. And you know what? God is faithful in many different ways to all of us. All of us have different stories. It's not for all of us. It's not about answered prayers for the way that we thought our family would turn out. It's other things that we've seen God remind us of his faithfulness. And some of us are still waiting on ways that we're praying God answers prayers for family situations or for life situations. But I think it's always good to remember the ways that God has answered prayer, the way that God's, God has shown that he is faithful, the way that God has reminded us that he loves us, cares about us, and what is going on in our lives. So I don't know what your story is, what your praise report is. It doesn't have to be something recent, or maybe it is, but I encourage you today, before we spend any time thinking or praying, uh, think about, ponder, reflect, remember the ways that God has been at work in your life and give thanks for those really great things that God has done. And you know what? Our lives have lots of challenges and struggles and trials too. And the reality is we often talk about those things in pause to pray videos. We, we often bring up the things that are kind of hard in our lives. We're praying about that on on our own, for, on behalf of ourselves, on behalf of people that we care about and, and the struggles they're going through, let's not forget to remember the praises as well as we come before God with thanksgiving in our hearts, as the scripture says, uh, entering his courts with praise. I think, I think Curtis actually read that for us, Psalm 100, uh, recently, if I'm remembering the right psalm there. So yeah, let's begin there today. Just ponder, just call to mind something that you are thankful for, a way that God has shown his faithfulness in your life. And on a slightly different note, before we actually end up praying together here in a moment, what happened since the last time I recorded Pause to Pray? I mean, I'm looking at like golden leaves, I am wearing a coat and a sweater and a long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt today. It's falls here, autumn's here. So let's embrace it. There's a lot of beauty to embrace. God's creation all around us is always declaring the power and glory of God, even when we are watching leaves fall to the ground. Today is actually a beautiful day, and if you can, I encourage you to get outside and do a prayer walk down by the river or wherever it is that you have a spot that you can go and spend that quiet time with God, pouring out your heart to him. We. Uh, a little while ago, we're uh, going through some some aspects of prayer, and, uh, and that series got interrupted by a few different things. But I want to I want to come back to uh, to another question about how and why we pray, and and this question is is when when can I pray? And I want to encourage you. You know, we do pause to pray two o'clock Tuesdays, uh, but the reality is you can pray anytime, anywhere about anything. And that any time is so critical because sometimes we get locked into this idea that I need to go and spend this quiet time down by the river in order to pray. Or I need to go into my closet and close the door and pray. You know what? And Jesus says that in scripture, but he's not saying the only time you can ever talk to God is when you go and seclude yourself in the middle of a situation, whatever you might find yourself in today, you can pray. You can pray at the dinner table and you can pray at your desk. You can pray on the job site and you can pray while you're mowing the lawn or when you're pulling up weeds. You can pray while you are driving a school bus or you can pray while you are pouring out your heart in writing a sermon. It doesn't matter what kinds of things you find yourself doing today, you can pray. And you can talk to God about the trials, you can pour out your thanksgiving to God and and talk about the praises and the joys. And we've we've covered a few different aspects of what to pray about and how to pray. Um, and I really want to encourage you today as we resume our regular pause to pray videos and we're here on a Tuesday at 2 p.m. again. The point is not a certain time. 
the point isn't a certain place, and the point isn't even a certain content or a certain phrase or formula of words. The point is God is always eager to talk to you, always wants to hear from you. So in, in just a moment, we're going to pray together here. And we're going to pray to that end. We're going to pray for whatever's going on in our day. And I encourage you to, to take this opportunity, uh, even right now while you're watching this video, in a moment when we're done praying together, keep praying. Pray for a moment here. And then remember, pray that God reminds you to pray in whatever situation you find yourself in today. So let's, let's pray together right now. Father God, we come before you. No matter what time of day it is, no matter where we are, as we are praying, as we are watching this video and praying together in this way, but God, we come before you right now and we pray and we thank you that you hear our voice. We thank you that you hear when we call out to you, whether we are giving you praise and thanksgiving for something amazing and beautiful and wonderful, like the gift of a new baby, or an answered prayer for a job, or an answered prayer for a family member, whatever that might be, God, we praise you and thank you that you hear us. And at the same time, if we are going through a trial right now, there are people in our congregation who are going through trials with health still, that are both here and abroad. There are people in our congregation, God, you know each one of our hearts who are struggling with all of the stuff going on with COVID and especially as we've been praying about the tension that it has created within families that breaks all of our hearts. And God, I pray and we pray together for these heavy things. We lift them up before you. I ask on behalf of this congregation, God, that you would grant each person wisdom for the situation they find themselves in. I pray that you would show them how to live in a way that looks like Jesus kind, compassionate, gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. God, I pray that you would show each one of us how to live this kind of life. And God, for the specific prayer requests that are in our church family right now, uh, for health concerns, for the people who are struggling with cancer, for the people uh, who long to see family members and who can't right now, we lift these up to you and we take a moment and we we pour out our heart to you for whatever is going on in our own hearts right now. For that person. For that situation. We pray, Lord, have mercy. And I pray, Lord, have mercy on this congregation. Show each one of them your grace today. Remind each one of them of your amazing love today. God, as we go from this small pause to pray, I pray that you would remind us to come before you with short prayers and long prayers at any point in the day when we need to call out to you. I pray that we would know, remember that you are there and that you would guide us and lead us to be lights in the world today for the sake of your glory and your kingdom. And we all pray this together in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Well, thanks, congregation, for continuing to pray with me as we join for these Tuesday Pause to Pray times. I, I pray that whenever you find yourself praying, wherever you find yourself praying, that you would remember that God loves you, God is working through you, and God has a good plan, and He is faithful. So God bless you. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.